she draws the gun. And shoots Colleen in the chest. She turns the gun, shoots Luis in the shoulder. Then Tang shoots him in the chest. Tang, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you wish to waive these rights? I need a verbal answer. Yeah. I don't know nothing about shooting people, so yeah. Tang is mad at everybody and mad at me, too. We sit and talk for a few minutes. Do you own a gun? No. Have you ever owned a gun? Yeah. She did have a gun once, but she left it at her aunt's house when her aunt threw her out. And then she says that bitch probably pawned it. Where were you last night? Me and Moki were at Big Bird's house all day and all night. You mean Alan Covington? Alan Covington is a person known to me who goes by the street name of Big Bird. Yes. So you know anything about a shooting? Look, I don't know what you're talking about. But I figured the cops would shoot my ass if I didn't come in and surrender, so I did. But I'm done talking. I want my lawyer. I have an amazing talent to see right through people and to see them for what they really are. And you, Miss J. Stevens, I see through your slutty ass like a cheap glass window. Excuse me? Are you sure it didn't sound like it? I said everything is fine. Malachi, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take my frustrations out on you. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, it's cool. I'm sorry if I upset you. I was just trying to be a gentleman. No, you, you didn't upset me. Look, I, I'm, I'm just dealing with so much right now. Just wish I had a man like you in my life. And the reason I asked Styles to call you is because I would like for you to be my new lead model. Me? How? Why? Sal showed me the photos from a shoot he did for you a few months ago, and your look is breathtaking. You are exactly what I'm looking for. I, I, I don't know what to say. Say you'll be on a plane to L.A. in the morning? L.A.? In the morning? Yes, my dear. See, this is how the business works. When opportunity knocks, you better open that door. I'm calling you to let you know what is about to happen. I am representing your scorned wife, and I'm going to take a lot of your money. Are you crazy? No, not crazy. Focused. I built my career on handling cheating men like you. Hey, I'm not a cheater. Excuse me? Should I read you your wife's statement on Jimmy? Make all the money you can now. Because when I'm done, no one will care about African Day, PSA Radio, or anything else you do. Good luck. <laughs>